Hello guys, welcome to the TechRoxo YouTube channel. In our today's video, we will see how we can install the Windows Server 2022 on the Azure. So just open any browser, click on Azure. Now here you can create a free account. You can use this free account for the testing purpose. In this free account, you will get 15,000 credit and you can use this account for the testing purpose for our Windows Server. So I, I have already created this, this account. So I simply click on sign in. Here, this is the home page of our Azure portal. So what we have to do is we have to create a new VM here. Click on VMs. Click on create as your virtual machine. Now here uh, see my subscription is free trial. Now here uh, create a new resource group like resource any name you can give it and type here a VM name like uh, SVR 2K22 the region select the uh, any region I have chosen the central India uh, and here in the images see all images here you have to select a uh, windows server 2022 azure edition uh, wait. here windows server 2022 data center azure edition select this image Here we can use this option. Uh, we don't need it. And here you have to choose the size of your CPU. Like here, there are a, a bunch of CPUs available. And here you can see uh, the CPUs, the RAM, the storage it will give you. And this is the price for this PC per month. So, uh, I will choose the basic one for this installation purpose. This one, click on select. And here we have to give a account password for our server from which we can log into our server. Here, type anything like Azure admin. Type here password. Now here it is uh, asking for the port, RDP port, it is remote desktop port. We can also uh, access this server through the remote desktop. Next. Here uh, it is asking for the SSD. The premium SSD gives you good speed, a very fast speed. And a standard SSD gives you a standard speed. So for this testing purpose I will use the standard SSD you can also attach any data disk with this server networking it will automatically create an public IP for you if you want to create any new you can create it from here and here Click on next. 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 Extensions here you can install extensions like if you want to install antivirus or any other uh, 
extension here there are a lot of extensions available so right now we don't need any extension simply click on next here you can add any tag like environment pre-production environment test like any kind of tag you can add here next now validation passed click on create it will creating our windows server a virtual machine our deployment is in process Now here our deployment is completed. Now go to the resource. And guys our windows server machine is created successfully. Right now it is uh, not ready. Just wait for some time. Now guys our VM is configured successfully. Now here comes all the you know OS name, OS we installed and it is our public IP and it is size of our CPU and now we can connect it through RDP, download RDP file, now click on connect, here we have to give our account password as your admin not type password and click on ok now click on yes boom guys we are into our windows server on the azure portal now just wait Now here is the information about our this server like the processor and RAM, disk space, our workgroup, IP and it is our OS version. Now we can also manage this server with the help of this Windows Admin Center. Just click on this and click on install now it is installing the windows admin center to our server it will take some time now our windows admin center is installed successfully but it is giving us an error message you must be the part of windows admin center administrator login role to connect so what we have to do is we have to give our user access to connect this role so just click on here access control here go to members select members here your account comes select your account and here select the role select here windows admin center login and next next review plus assign now it is adding a role assignment 
go back to your windows admin center it will take a minute so just wait so guys here the connect option is arrived just click connect and here it is connecting to the windows admin center it will take some time for the first time so here our windows admin center is open here we can see the information about our server name processor here the cpu utilization we can also uh, do a couple of things like certificates devices files and file sharing we can also download any file from our server connected server we can also upload any file like here we can also use the powershell so in this way we can install windows server 2022 on azure portal and we can manage our server with windows admin center